Sources familiar with the matter tell ABC News Susie Wiles, one of Trump's most trusted advisors, leading his second re-election effort now, is the person singled out in Smith's indictment as the PAC representative who Trump allegedly showed a classified map to in August or September of 2021. Joining me now is Stephanie Grisham, former White House press secretary and communications director under President Trump and author of I'll Take Your Questions Now, What I Saw at the Trump White House. Welcome, Steph. It's good to see you. So um, what can you tell us about Susie Wiles? Have you crossed paths with her? And do you think she could end up being a star witness? Yes, I've crossed paths with her. Paths with her. She's pretty well known in political circles. In fact, she uh, used to work for Ron DeSantis until they had a falling out. So, I know that Trump really needs her in in the position that she's in because uh, DeSantis is his biggest competition at this moment. If it's true that you know he showed her a classified document, that's going to obviously put her in a very awkward position. Um, it hasn't been confirmed, I guess, that it's her yet. But I, I do believe that. You know, I'm sure people all in Trump world right now are working hard to figure out if it's her, asking her questions, um, and it'll just put her in an awkward position. So I'm interested to see how it will play out ultimately, because he's not trusting many people right now. Yeah, absolutely. And you make a good point. I just want to reiterate that NBC News has not uh, confirmed that particular report either. But um, this alleged exchange between Trump and Miles, it is the second of two instances detailed by prosecutors in the indictment showing how Trump allegedly disclosed classified information. The first, as you know, that July 2021 audio recording. Let's take a listen to that. I just found, isn't that amazing? This totally wins my case, you know. Mm -hmm. Except it is like highly confidential yeah. <laughs> secret. This is secret information. This was done by the military, given to me. Uh, I think we can probably. Right? I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. Yeah, we'll have to try to figure out a, a. Yeah. See, as president, I could have deed less. Yeah. Uh, no, I can't. You know, but this is. Yeah, less no, no. Look, you know Donald Trump. Is it plausible Trump was showing classified documents to people in private meetings? The short answer is yes. I watched him show uh, documents to people at Mar-a-Lago on the, uh, the dining room patio. So he has no respect for classified information, never did. Um, you know, listening to that exchange every time, it just makes me so angry. Uh, he, he talks specifically that he should have de declassified it, but he didn't. So there, I think, is proof. I believe also there's a portion of that audio where he says, you know, this is off the record. And I know mm -hmm. Donald Trump. And knows the rules of reporters, and he knows if it needs to be off the record that they can't talk about it. So I think he was covering himself in that regard. And, you know, I was thinking about this earlier. I just want to say to your viewers, I don't think people understand how hard it is to get your um, your classified uh, permissions. I, I remember when I was going through it to get, get all of mine, I got held up because of a $13 kinder care a bill that I did not know about. And so I couldn't get clearance. What? It went, they go through everything about you. It's very difficult to get a security clearance. And I think people, you know, they miss that's in the weeds, obviously, but to be showing it to people who haven't gone through the extreme vetting that you go through to get a clearance, it's, you know, it's a disservice to the country, but it also puts people in danger potentially. How high was your security clearance? And I, I've got to think, given that you get held up for a $13 whatever it was, I mean, that's got to be almost offensive that Donald Trump goes around and shows it very liberally to people. It is. And it's, you know, of course, it's offensive to me, sure. But again, there are sources and methods out there that could be put in danger. I think that, you know, I can't stress enough how by being so loose with this stuff, he's he's potentially putting people in danger. Um, and yeah, I had a top security clearance and it's, it's very, very hard to attain. So um, it's very important and it's vital to our country and our national security that only people with these clearances have access to any of these documents. OK. Well, Donald Trump, uh, having been called out on this behavior, is defending the audio recording we just played. He's calling it bravado. Take a listen to what he said. I had a whole desk full of lots of papers and mostly newspaper articles, copies of magazines, copies of different plans, copies of stories having to do with many, many subjects. And what was said was absolutely fine and very, very perfectly. We did nothing wrong. This is a whole hoax. So how do you interpret his defense compared to the audio we heard? 
Well, I mean, I think this is like his seventh or eighth defense, right? First, there was nothing, and then it was all declassified anyway, and then you know. So this is just the newest defense, and it doesn't it doesn't comport with what the audio says. He says this: the military put this together for me. See this? You hear the papers? So that's not bravado. You can't tell me that he's holding up a newspaper while he's saying the military put this together for me. Okay, let me ask you for a quick answer on this. You know, former Trump lawyer Rudy Giuliani has been interviewed by federal investigators as part of the special counsel's investigation into the efforts to overturn the 2020 election. They've also interviewed Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger this week. What does this mean for Trump? Do you think he should be bracing for another indictment? Yes, that's, that's my quick answer. Yes, I do think he should be bracing for that.